Hey guys, it's Mitch of My Apple Tech, and today I'll be going over the top 10 best CDA tweaks for the year 2012. Now this is part 6 of the series, and don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated. The first city tweak is called Double Dock. Now this allows you to add an additional dock which will display up to five icons to your normal dock. So with this additional dock you have a total of two and you are able to remove apps like so and you will have five at the top and four at the bottom and you can add them in. Our next city tweak is called Arrow. Now this is an awesome iOS switcher app for your device that does come with a bunch of animations. You can see here, here are a few. This is one of the few that does allow you to move between the different apps. You can rotate them in a circular motion, linearly, horizontally. If you want to go ahead and enable the wrap, you will be able to go in a continuous circle. Normally, you would have to be stopped at the last application. Here's another one, which is the circular motion that does put the apps in a circular position. And here is a train-like switcher. You can see how the icons come at you almost in a train-like Thing. So here are the different animations. They range from linear, cover flow, wheel, cylinder, time machine, and it gives you an awesome iOS switcher for your device. Our next city tweak is called I Sleep Well. Now this will get you a better night's sleep by putting your device into DFU mode and you'll be unable to receive any text messages, phone calls, or notifications. So I put it face down. Airplane mode. My device will go into airplane mode, and if I quickly do bring it up, it will be in airplane mode, and then it will switch over to being active. Phone is now active. Then I'll be able to receive text messages, phone calls, and get all of my notifications. Up next is a city tweet called Swipe Back. Now this will allow you to swipe back to other settings or pages in your device. So right now we are in the keyboards, and if I swipe back, I will go back to my keyboard. If I do swipe back one more time, it will go into general. And if I swipe back one last time, I'll be in the settings panel. So it is an easier way to get back to different pages. This also works with apps. So right now I'm in the reviews of the App Store, back to the info, and then back to the featured in the App Store. So guys, this is a swipe back and allows you to swipe back to different pages on your device. Our next city tweak is called Color Clock. Now this allows you to change the color of both the clock and the date on your device's lock screen. As you can see here, the date is in blue and the time is in red. Now if I go ahead and slide to unlock, I am able to change the time label color by sliding that up. And now it is a yellow. And I'm also able to change the date label color. If I slide that up, it will change to a pink. Up next is the City Tweak SMS timestamps. Now normally when you do send out messages to other people in iMessage or as a text message, an SMS timestamp will only come up after a certain amount of time assigned by Apple. You can see here the time does come up after every message that I do send for both the recipient and myself. So these can be either 30 seconds apart or a minute apart. If you go ahead and open up the settings for SMS timestamps, you can go ahead and set it either after 1 minute, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes, and this will display the timestamp after each of those messages in your messages or text messages. The next city tweak is called Bright Slide. Now this allows you to adjust a couple of the settings including the brightness, the sounds, the flashlight, and be able to open up different apps. So if I go ahead and activate it, you can see that I do have a brightness slider here and I'm able to move it up and down to adjust the brightness on my device either as a lower brightness or back up to a higher brightness. If I go ahead and swipe right it will bring up the sounds slider and I'm able to move up my sounds either higher or lower depending on how I like it. And if I go ahead and slide back two to the left this will bring up some more options including the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, airplane mode, the flashlight, and my three apps on the right. So I'm able to open up my flashlight like so, and I can go ahead and turn off my Wi-Fi and turn it back on, and you will be notified by the blue. On the right there, you can go ahead and open up those apps like so, and you can configure these apps right in the settings for Bright Slide. Our next city tweak is called Vuzik. Now this allows you to get video ringtones for your iPhone when people do call you or FaceTime you on your device. So if you go ahead and open it up, you can go to the searching and you can go ahead and download a YouTube video via YouTube. So right now I am searching up a Rick Rolled. Once it is found the video, you can go ahead and click on it and this will be downloaded right to the, your music app. 
Once downloaded, you can go ahead and edit out the certain portion of the video that you do want to be played, and then you can go ahead and save it and it will render it. Then, all you have to do is go ahead and click OK and make sure it is on, and when someone does call you, it will pop up like so. Now bear in mind that ad will go away when the developer does update the app, so if that is frustrating, you guys can live with it because it does give you video ringtones for your iPhone. So guys, this is Vuzik. Our next city tweak is called Photo Enhancer. Now this allows you to enhance the photos in different albums on your device. So if you can see here, I do have three photo albums in my photos. And if I want to go ahead and lock these, I select Edit, Hide, and they will be hidden and locked. Now I can go ahead and show them and unlock them by selecting Edit, Show, and that they are password protected, and I will have to enter in my password of 123, and it will be fully unlocked and I'm able to see them. You can also move the position of them by selecting Edit, and you can go ahead and move them either up or down, and with this tweak you have the ability to move an picture from a different album and the old picture will be deleted from that old album and put into the new album so it does save room on your device. So guys this is Photo Enhancer. Our next city tweak is called Touch Pose Plus. Now this is an upgrade to the original Touch Pose and with the Plus version you are given some additional features such as the size and the color of the circle. If you go ahead and open up the settings for Touch Pose you can adjust the slider and it will increase the size of the circle like so. And if you go ahead and decrease the slider to about 22, the circle will be decreased in size. Now if you do want to reset these settings back to normal, just go ahead and select that button. And you can also change the color in the color picker. So here we do have an RGB scale, and I am able to go and select blue, and then change the opacity to a brighter or darker by moving that slider. I can also change the image. Right now I do have the target which is in use. And if I go ahead and want to have the Apple logo as my selected image, just go ahead and select the in use. And now they will be put both in the box and then go ahead and select the Apple. And now you can see they do have the Apple and I'm able to move that with two fingers or three fingers. So this is Touch Pose Plus. Last but not least is this CD tweak called Headphone Launcher. Now this will launch your applications when your headphones are connected to your device. So if I go ahead and put in my headphones into my device, you'll see that my four icons are popped up, ranging from Cydia to Settings. And you can click on them and they will take you directly to those apps. And you can have more applications if you go ahead and select more in the Settings for Headphone Launcher. So this has been the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012, and this is part 6 of the series. If any of these videos did go fast and you would like a more in-depth review, links will be in the description below. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.